Hello YouTube and welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. I've got the Cold Steel Warcraft Tanto in 3V Steel. In this video you're going to see something that people have requested for years and years from me. That is to see a demonstration uh, of a blade like this against uh, basically flesh. I got some meat from the butchers. I need to thank KnifeHog.com because without them, you guys wouldn't see this video. They graciously donated this Warcraft Tanto to be used in the video. Knifehog.com is an online cutlery store. I'll include a link. They also have a YouTube channel with video overviews. This demonstration, do not try this at home, okay? Because it might look fun. It might look fun. But please keep in mind, when you go off rapid-fire combinations against a real target, it's very easy to just stabbing with all your might. If your hand gets slippery and sweaty, it's very easy to stab and accidentally go up on this blade. So don't try that at home, all right? Use caution. Now in the demo, I am going to use hammer grip to open up the targets to the side of the torso, okay? The lungs via, you know, accessing it from the lower side of the torso, the upper side, and as well as the neck, and then this way, and then straight in, okay? We're also going to use the reverse grip in order to open up the upper angles, accessing the upper torso, the heart and lungs at downward angles like that, as well as from below and straight in. We are primarily going to do thrusting techniques because uh, I think it's appropriate for this design of knife. Now please remember in the real world, there's no such thing as blocking. At the range that this demo is going to be at, there's no such thing as blocking at that range. And I, I think you'll see why the distance is too short. The time spans are so short. It's really at close range. You're talking about quick draw. It's going to be the quick and the dead. It's going to come down to your reaction time. Okay? If things go to close range, which almost inevitably in barehanded fighting and knife combat, it's almost always going to go to close range. It also happens very, very fast. Again, that's real life. It's going to be a matter of seconds. All right, let's roll in this footage. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this. Let's do a little close-up. The bones did not provide any resistance at all. Okay, the bones didn't even feel them. It was like going through butter. I mean, it was going easily. I mean, just easily. It's hitting the back. It's hitting... That's the piece of wood behind it. It was... I mean... The sub-tip alone, all right, oh, you see that? That's, that was just, that was just a little cut like that. That's what it does. That's bone right there. <laughs> uh, basically, a rib cage is nothing compared to steel. Okay, YouTube, yes, uh, bend over. No, kidding. Um, this is, yeah, it's, it's the remains of the last troll that messed with me. This is all that's left of him. No, all right, stop kidding around. Continuing with the autopsy, 
of the rib cage. As with firearms, gunshots, often the exit wounds will tell you the whole story. So let's just check out the exit wounds. Yeah, see they go in and that's how they come out. Easily went through. One, two, three, four, five. You lose count. How'd you like, you know, how'd you like that to be your ribs? And on here, exit wounds. And you see, you know, you can see daylight. All right, you can see daylight through. Hello. All right, then let's check out some of the slashes. That was a nice one there. All right, that one right there. There. This upper part was just destroyed by crisscrossing slashes and snap cuts. But there you go. For those people, you know, I don't know who, I don't know who out there still isn't sure if a knife is a dangerous or deadly weapon. At this range, you know, at this range, I mean, it's like a gun, you know? All right, well, I'm going to go slice these up and cook these up because we don't let things go to waste here on the channel. We're going to use this up. I'm going to wash it. Okay, I'm going to wash it first. If there's any destroyed parts, I'll trim those off. I'll trim those off. These are just about done. We got ribs. Hold on. Let me give you, give you a nice look at these ribs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how do you like your ribs? I like them like this with a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, some pepper and some salt. That's how I like my ribs. All right, let's finish up this video. Now I am going to do a full tabletop review to go over the features of this blade and give you my opinion. And I'm also going to compare it to other Tanto designs in that video. And I am going to post that video on the same day and include a link, okay? Because I know people are not going to want to wait for that video. I break it up into two videos because I don't like to make overly long stuff. I want it to be watchable. All right, so click the link to see my tabletop opinion of the Warcraft Tanto. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to include a link to knifehog.com. Check them out. Subscribe to their YouTube channel if you like to purchase cutlery, which I know all of my subscribers do. You might want to check out what they have in their inventory. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.